five iron off the tee, par four, 343 yards. I just wanted to put a five iron out in the middle of the fairway. Maybe favor the left hand side because this one curves a little bit around to the right. I'm gonna do a full par four here for you and show you my thought processes and what I'm going through with each shot. All right, I pulled it a little bit to the left, so I'm in the left rough. I got some branches over here. You might be able to see them, maybe not, of this birch tree. I've got a pretty good sized green here. The only trouble is off to the front right with this bunker and then this creek, which couldn't shouldn't come into play across it. But I've got 160 yards. Honestly, I'm not, if I hit the green here, that's great, but I'm just trying to get across this creek and I've got to stay fairly low. So I'm gonna play a seven iron back a little bit in my stance and, and just manipulate the spin on it and try and, and put it out there low. But it's gonna be like a nine out of 10 with a seven iron. Nice and low under the tree, in the middle of the green, perfect. All right, so that ended up just past the flag. I don't know if you can see it from here. I've got my camera mount on the cart here. But from here, it looks like it's about 10, maybe 11 feet. I mean, this should be just a really simple two putt or one putt. So I'll leave it rolling. We'll fast forward through some of this so you can watch. But hopefully I'm gonna walk away with a par here. That's a birdie. It was more like 12 feet when I got up there, so it's not 11 feet. It's 12 feet. That's a 12 foot birdie in the hole. Love it. All right, so par three. It's a little downhill. There's a little wind swirling in the air, but I think for the most part, it's a little bit behind me. It's not really strong. Uh, bunker, short and left. Uh, over the back can be some trouble, but anything short and right is gonna be just fine. I have plenty of green to work with. Anything obviously on the green is fine. I'm just gonna play a seven iron, kind of ride the wind a little bit and get it down there. Play out my best shot. A uh, little thin, left it out right. Probably just moved, trying to put a little bit too much effort into the swing. But short and right, it's a good miss. All right, so my ball is out there. It's about probably 12 to 15 yards off of the green that way. And then you can see the flag is over here, tucked behind this bunker. I got plenty of green to work with. So this is a simple little pitch and run uh, and try and make the putt. in the books. Okay, par five, number 18, dog leg left. These trees right here, this group of trees, I mean, you can see it, that group of trees right there is about 235, 240 yards away, depending on which tree you shoot. I'm going to hit the driver. Now that's dead down the middle. It's not a giant hook. It's a little tight draw. To get a proper yardage, hold you over here. I'm going to get down there where I am and I'm gonna shoot back to either this sign or these trees that are just a few yards behind that. And then I'm gonna give you the distance that I drove that golf ball. Okay, so here's the ball. I'm now facing back toward the tee and I'm right here so let's look those trees are 278 and the stone up there is 269 the tee box was a little bit back behind that stone so 
270, something like that, and I'm not swinging hard. So, you know, there it is, 270, minimal effort. I wasn't really going for it. Actually, there's a nice cross breeze coming into me from this direction that would have thrown it off too. So, there you go, 270. I shot 77 today from the whites. Um, all in all, the score is not bad, but I did not feel like I played very high level golf today. I lost focus. I wasn't as still as I should have been. Um, there were a lot of times where my left shoulder was moving through the shot. I was opening my shoulders up and it resulted in bad shots. Um, I haven't played in over three weeks. I haven't practiced in three weeks. So I'm sure that's got something to do with it. But at the same time, I'm not happy with that. Um, my ball striking today was not good. Um, it had times when it was really good, but it also had times when it was bad. Um, I've heard from Norberto, Paul, and Craig, the three men that are in the 90 day challenge with Jim. Let's do a quick update on that.